Hey guys, what's up? So as you can see, a little bit of a change in the chord. That's because I'm actually in Madrid. As you guys remember, Jaime uh, sued me for basically making a video on him. So they forced me to come in person in the courts of Madrid uh, for that trial. Obviously that was a joke, but it would be kind of funny, honestly, to go say what's up to Jaime because I know he lives in Madrid and uh, I'm in Madrid. So honestly, bro, I might bump into him and uh, square up. Anyway, I'm just recording this intro because last week I had a really, really interesting interview with Ivan, who is the owner of Maximize Solar, an agency I actually made a video about a couple months ago. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might remember, but that agency was making around $300,000 a month. Currently, it's still around that number, I believe, but I managed to get Ivan on an interview and ask him a bunch of questions. And in this video, you guys are going to see Ivan is a very, very interesting, charismatic guy. So in this interview, Ivan is going to show a bunch of things, including how he runs ads for his own agency, which I thought was insane. This interview is, and I know I say this a lot, so far the best one on this channel. And with that being said, you guys are in for a fucking treat. Let's get into it. All right. Thanks. Hey, Thomas. Uh, thank you so much for having me, dude. You're the freaking best. Um, I know, you know, how we met was, was, uh, you know, was kind of uh, interesting. You made a video about me and the agency and stuff like that. I found that pretty cool that I reached out to you. I'm like, maybe we can help your audience. So I know your audience is like, you know, really, really smart, but at the same time, the attention span is really, really short. And so I'm going to keep it short and simple. All right. So today I'm going to show you in a few steps, how to build a successful marketing agency. Now, when I say a marketing agency, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to basically speak from my experience. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I'm not knocking anyone else and anyone else's hustle out there, like what they're telling you in terms of, you know, how to build your agency, but I'm going to show you exactly how we built ours. And I'm going to put, I'm going to lay out everything. I'm not going to keep anything from you. Okay. So let's get right into it. So the first thing is, um, you want to start with, um, you want to start with how you close people. Okay. Thomas has amazing content on how to freaking do this, how to reach out to people. It doesn't matter how you do that, whether you do it through cold calling, whether you do it through, through email or ads, it doesn't matter. Now, my opinion is this, is that once you get to a certain point, you gotta, you gotta delegate that low level activity to someone else or transition straight to paid advertising. Okay. And on this video, I'm going to show you exactly what those ads are look like okay now in terms of closing people a lot of people are like Ivan, how do i close more people and i'm just like dude you know how many people bro actually um reached out to me after you make that video yeah. on instagram and they Probably asked me to yeah pretty like a lot and and so there was a lot of interest and a lot of people asking me the same question over and over and over again like i have this client this client and this client and i'm like listen the Point of the matter is you need to know who you're talking to. You need to, you need to know what you're talking about. Why do I say that? Because if you, it doesn't matter what kind of experience you have, as long as you sound like an expert, you, it doesn't matter. How do you become an expert? Three, three ways to become an expert. You need to educate yourself. First of all, by doing, um, watch YouTube videos on the subject, watch other people in the industry. Like for example, for me in solar, there's people with solar channels out there, right? If like, for example, if you want to educate yourself on the industry, you can watch my videos. You can watch my competitors videos. It doesn't matter. Right. But that's how one of the ways, second thing is podcast. There's a lot of people installers, even that are posting, you know, different episodes, different podcasts on how solar works, what the industry is like, uh, uh right now, yada, 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 so that you know who you're talking to at this very, very moment. Okay. So, uh, that's the second point. And the third point is basically talking to clients. You cannot accept, you cannot escape that. How do you become good? Well, after talking to a hundred people in solar, you're going to pretty much get to know the industry. They're going to ask you the same freaking questions over and over and over again. Right. And so once you've, once you already have the experience under your belt, you will be able to become better just by virtue of having putting those calls in those hours. Right. So that's the first point. The second point is, uh, once you outsource, when I say outsource, I mean, initially you, you want to be the man of everything. You want to be doing the ads. You want to be doing the, the, the outreach. You want to be doing 
the the sales and everything else. However, once you scale your agency, you're going to need salespeople. So for me, my salespeople, I paid them 20 to 25% per close. And then I paid them 5% recurring. 5% recurring. Why? Because I want him to be involved in the process. I don't want him to be, you know, just get paid, pump and dump, and then, you know, you know, leave it. You know, I'm getting hot. Like, so, so you don't want to be, you don't want to be pump and dump. You, you want to have people who are actually involved in the product, right? You want to have people who are involved in the process. And the only way to do that and for them to care, you need to have, you need to have them on a recurring basis. I've found 20 to 25% is pretty adequate as long as you're getting about $2,000 per client at least, okay, per month. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this, the, the, the next thing is obviously the acquisition. And I don't know, Thomas, will you allow me to share my screen so I can show you exactly? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So I'm going to show you exactly what our acquisition strategy looks like. A, a lot of people are getting wet right now. They're ready to fucking see it. So let me show you exactly what it is. Um, can I share it? All right. So this is what it looks like. So this is the ad, guys. This is one of the ads that I'm going to show you some videos also that you can find. By the way, a uh, quick tip, Power Ad Spy. If, you, if you're not using it, like, trust me, it's worth the money. And you can see everyone's ads on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Like, it's, it's, it's an amazing platform. But anyway, um, now you can see the copy. We're going to break the copy down. And I'm also going to show you some video ads and the landing page to go along with that. So when you're doing an ad, and that strategy, by the way, is only... Uh, to, to be deployed once you have a, f a couple of clients, meaning you can afford to reinvest the money that you're already getting back into this uh, acquisition strategy, okay? So when you build out an ad, you're going to be, you want to have a, a, a copy that, first of all, speak to your audience. So let's do a short breakdown. Solar Post, it's time to ditch the agency retainer and get guaranteed appointments on your calendar instead. Why, why am I saying this? Solar Pro. So three things, addressing my audience. Second thing is ditching the retainer, what they hate, okay? And the third thing is what they want, guaranteed appointments on your calendar instead. In that one sentence, because that's pretty much, that's pretty much I'm addressing the audience and that's, yeah. um, that's what they want to hear. That's my headline basically right there, right? After spending over, uh, so that's credibility next. After spending over $20 million in solar ads here at Maximize Solar just in the past three years alone, that's resulted in over 1 million leads and 250,000 appoint, uh, qualified appointments for us and our clients. And so we feel pretty confident that we can deliver outstanding results without the need to uh, ch uh, to charge people first and rather put our money where our mouth is. Why am I saying all this? Because a lot of your clients are going to be like, can you put where your, your money where your mouth is? Why are you making me pay for shit? Right. And so that's where you're going to come in. That's where you're getting them. Basically, you understand that that's where you're getting them. Like you're getting them by saying the right things. That's that's what an ad is, right? You're addressing your audience and you're speaking their language currently, right now. How it works on now addressing the, the process. How it works is we'll give you a guaranteed amount of exclusive high intent solar leads and appointments for the first month or you won't pay us a penny. Due to the nature of this offer, we receive a lot of inquiries from solar pros to try this, uh, to try this out risk-free. So spots remain limited, right? So it creates some uh, sc uh, scarcity. And then they go to the website. Worst case scenario, you walk away with a, uh, with a few free deals in the, in the house. You literally have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Click the link below, right? Okay, so that's the ad. Now that's the copy. Now this is the ad. And I want to show you what the ad looks like. You excited to see the ad? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. That's the ad. You probably can hear it, can you? Uh, a little bit, but like it's fine. I guess we can see the the um, um subtitles. That I wanted to make you an irresistible offer. We'll give you a guaranteed amount of exclusive, high intent solo leads for the first month, or you won't be as penny. Go ahead and click the link below or around this video to book a call with our team and get onboarded immediately. Most of our clients who try this offer end up adding initial five to ten deals in the first 30 days at absolutely no cost to them. So you literally have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Go ahead and click the link below, book a call with our team, and we'll see you next time. Okay, so basically that's what 
uh, that's what one of the videos looked like. You can literally steal. Like I want people to literally like you can see me burning money. Like that money is basically fake money. Like you can order it on Amazon for like 20 bucks uh, and you you burn money. You have to do something that's catchy, right? It's you could literally cool. steal my copy. You can steal my copy from because obviously my guy who edits the videos, he's put subtitles on the videos, right? So what you can do is you can steal my copy. And, and here's other examples, by the way, with, uh, uh, by the way, with um, text above and below. You can steal my copy because the, my guy has written like the subtitles on the video. So you can just replace it for your industry. Okay. Now that's one of the videos. And um, again, it, it, it works. Now, once you get into, that's the ad, but what is the landing page? The landing page looks like this. Freaking dumb, simple, that's built on high level. You can use uh thomas is uh high level 30 days and and yeah. try this out but basically you could basically steal this guys like i want you to know you can steal this it's dumb simple to build limited spots for new solar pros apply before and this day by the way my team changes it every single month so if it's for example march it's going to be march 31st it's going to be if it's april it's going to be april 30th right so this changes to create fake scarcity all right now, add an extra 10 to 15 deals per month without paying agency retainers, okay? Bold headline. I'm telling you guys, the landing page I'm going to walk you through in a sec, but what's happening is this right here, because most people are going to be mobile users, like this right here is what makes the most amount of difference, your headline, okay? Your headline and subheadline and, and the call to action. That is it. That's pretty much it. Dumb man's game, okay? Now, once they click on this, they fill out a form. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then they book a call. Pretty much that's how it works. Dumb man's game. Okay. Now displaying, get right onto it. Uh, displaying some testimonials showing that, you know, we are who we are. Wall Street. We, yes. We've worked yeah. with Jordan Belfer. We used to actually build. So we built his entire marketing campaign for his courses. Okay. So that shows, and I helped Jordan also build a solar sales team. Okay. So that, that is in bold, red, whatever, because people know him. He, he, so how do you end up closing the wall for Wall Street? You know, so he was our client and that gives and that gives us huge credibility. So you can build that. And I'm later on in this video, by the way, I'm going to show you how, how to actually get testimonials off of your clients. OK, those guys are freaking stingy as fuck. All right. So, again, our appointment stats, you want to show him some uh, some stats again, a different call to action again, what our results say. Show them some, uh, basically showing them social proof in different ways, right? It's not, yeah. it, it's not difficult to do that. Okay. Testimonials, testimonials, testimonials. And that is it. It's stupid, simple. It is stupid, freaking simple to do this. I showed you the ad, showed you the copy. Okay. I showed you the video, one of the videos. I don't want to bore you with another one, but basically we have a video with me laying on the beach. I'm going to show you just the start of it. Hold on. Appointments. Just got a new one. The whole system is so slick that it has helped over 200 solar owners just like. Right. And so running ads like this get people gets people's attention. Now I used to do guys don't make my mistake. What I used to do was it literally took me two years to realize, Hey, why don't you fucking experiment? Why don't you, instead of run, you know, image ads, do video ads because I didn't want to show my face. What a dummy, huh? So once, once I started doing that uh, and showing my face in the videos, the quality of the leads got so much better. So for anyone out there who's running ads for your agency right now, record yourself. Even if you sound like a dork, it doesn't matter. Like people, people resonate with people, with human beings. Okay. So do videos. Trust me. Okay. Don't ask me why. Another thing is, let me see if I'm on track. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is maybe I'll stop sharing my screen for now. Next thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, you know, re results based versus retainers. A lot of people talk about that. It's like super scary right now, right? The retainers are going away. I understand that. And I agree with that. The retainers are definitely going away. What that means is that when you try to get someone to buy from you, from a retainer standpoint, you tell them you're going to pay me, right? And whether you get results or not, it's not of my business. I get paid. My team gets paid. 
We eat, you don't. Okay. That's the 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 underlying the underlying basically uh notion off of what you're saying to them. So results based, they both work. And I'm gonna show you how. When you offer them a results based, you could say, hey, you get on a call, you say, hey, we charge a one-time fee for doing this for you. It could be two to four thousand dollars, depending on the industry. Two to four thousand dollars, and you're gonna include 20 or 30 appointments. In our industry, it's like 20 appointments. Okay. We include 20 appointments. That is basically. We already cover our asses when it comes to paying our VAs and everything else like that. But that's like you 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 have skin in the game of some sort, but you still charge them a one-time fee. And when people say, when people hear a one-time fee, they're like, oh, okay. So after that, I'm just paying for results. You're like, yeah. But let me tell you what happens. Once you once you tell them this, okay, you're you're gonna pay that one-time fee. What you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna say, okay. You're going to pay me X amount of dollars per appointment. In my industry, is $100 to $120 per appointment. And then after a month or two, because Steve's been super fucking happy with your work, what's going to happen is you're going to turn around and say, Steve, how about we have a call, mate? How about we have a call about, you know, what's going on in our working relationship? And then Steve agrees. And then you let him know, hey, listen, Steve, I care about you so much, bro. Like, I seriously do. And I genuinely fucking do. I don't want them to overpay. Okay. So what I do is I do the math in front of the guy. I pull my calculator. Okay. I pull my calculator and do and do simple fucking math. And the math is simple. I'm going to show you. So if, if they're paying $2,000, okay, plus now let's do, let's do the, uh, this first. If they're paying $120, which is what we charge people, right? Results based, correct? If we pay, uh, if, if they pay $120 per appointment and they do 20 appointments, that is, I'm not good at math. So I'm going to do 2,400, correct? 2,400. Now what happens is we charge people. I'm going to let you know what we do. We charge them $30 per appointment booked that is confirmed in go high level. Yes. We use also go high level, Re uh, calls are recorded, everything else. So for someone that's that has been a qualified appointment with notes and everything else from our VAs, they pay us thirty dollars. Now I don't make money on that deal, right? I don't. It's probably break even, considering the phone numbers that we buy, the software, and everything else. However, that adds value to the client, and so we retain them for longer, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. So if we do twenty dollars, uh, twenty appointments times 30 bucks, that's $600, $600. You remember that? So 600 times that by uh, 600 plus 2000, that's 2,600, right? That's 2,600. Now that's pretty much still more expensive. If you think about it, if they do only 20 appointments a month, it's still more expensive for them to switch to, to the retainer model. But what if Steve happens to have a freaking amazing month and they do 50 appointments? Let's do the math on that. If they do 50 appointments, times that by $30, that's 1500 plus your $2,000, that's $3,500. Let's do the math if, if Steve was still on the results-based, which is $120. They'll be paying six. Geez. So you're saving them money. So what happens is guys, what I, what I am trying to tell you with that is you can get them in through the door with the results base and then switch him later to the, to the retainer base. And trust me, we do it. It works. There's again, more than one way to skin a cat. However you want to do it. I'm just sharing with you my experience. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Now, the re now let's talk about the retention. So once you have like, what's the retention in order to retain a client, you need two things. You need to provide them value and you got to do this with, with a VA. You have to have a freaking VA. Just, just remember this leads alone. Won't cut it guys. You need to have someone that is going to call your clients leads bottom line. So get someone, I'm going to show you exactly 
how to get people to do that for you. Okay. The best way to find someone like that is I'm telling you, just get someone from, I like I use people from Mexico. So I use people from Mexico that, that that's the niche that I found. Okay. I invested close to $25,000 in building a call center. So, so I'm telling you this without you paying a penny. Okay. Get people from Mexico that were deported from the United States back to Mexico. A lot of these people, they have lived in the United States for their for most of their life. So their English is perfect. They're hardworking individuals. They can't get back to the U.S. They're perfectly happy with you uh, with working with you and delivering your client's results. Right. So you pay them. Four to six dollars an hour plus ten dollars per appointment. Got that? Okay, cool. And the next thing for retention also is you need to have the right communication. So you let them know if you're not in the United States, if, if your clients are in the United States, they're not, then disregard that. But if if your clients are in the United States and you're not in the States, like I am, I'm in freaking Bulgaria, that's in Eastern Europe. So we have different time zones. I don't have my team working, you know, night shifts. So we do regular shifts. Okay. So we let them know, hey, within this hour and this hour, your messages, your requests are going to be answered. All good. And then, and then once they know that, they're not going to bother you. Hey, why didn't you, why didn't you um, answer my, my text or message? Well, dude, it's like 4 a.m. where we at. We sleep. Okay. We're human beings. So, so basically, that's that. Now, the next step is how to actually get testimonials. And a lot of people are like, hey, I want to do what you do, but I, but just because I'm starting out, I don't have testimonials. Well, first of all, guys, I'm going to tell you this. First of all, you can get you can get people to record testimonials for you, okay? And I'm going to explain. A lot of people are like, well, that's a scam. No, that's not a scam, actually. What it is, is you're being diligent with your money, meaning you want to have the, the lowest cost per acquisition and the, high, uh, and the lowest cost per lead possible. And that's going to come through social proof, I'm telling you. So what you need to do is, is get, get some people, get some people to record some videos for you. You can even uh, tell them what to say and whatever. I know that's like counterintuitive, but I'm gonna explain to you what my thought process behind is this. For me to scam someone is to come in, is to come in, for them to come in and for me to pr uh, promise them something and for me to not deliver on my promise, right? That is some, and to, uh, walk away with their money or whatever. Like that's a scam, okay? With this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do persuasion. We're trying to persuade them so they can become our client because how can you help someone if they're not your client? You cannot, right? And once you have a, a little bit of a client base, the way you get testimonials after that is you basically say again, Steve, let's hop on a call, man. Let's see how you're doing. I want to make sure you're doing well. I want to make sure, you know, we, we, we take care of you. And then Steve's going to say, of course I have time for that. If you say, Hey, Steve, Here's what you don't do. Don't be like, Steve, can you please record like a two minute video for me? Steve's like, what the f like, dude, record a two minute video. What am I going to get? Right. People are like that, guys. Don't get mad when people sit, you know, think that and don't do it for you. I've waited weeks, months for clients to record a testimonials. Guess what? We never got it. So I'm telling you what to do. Get them on the call. A client retention call. Okay. Get them on the call. And then the last like literally talk about their campaign, talk about their experience, everything else. Don't record the call. And then last minute is say, hey, Steve, by the way, man, you're so fucking cool. I love working with you. Do you mind if I record a two minute video? I'm just going to ask you like a, a couple of couple of basic questions just to for my future marketing campaigns. Would you mind sharing your experience with people? Guess what? What, what do you think Steve's going to say? No, I am an asshole. I'm not going to do that. Well, of, co of course, Steve, Steve's going to agree. And there you go. You have a testimony. Okay. There you go. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is, guys, I cannot stress this. I'm going to share my screen again. Next thing is, guys, like, like I'm going to show you. That's how That's how uh, Thomas actually found me. That's how we got together. 
Okay. So he found my YouTube channel first. Okay. And you can see this. I've been doing this for over three years. I've been doing this for over three years. You, there's videos on my channel of literally solar related videos, testimonials, videos, testimonials, like, like free content testimonials. Like that's what I'm doing. Okay. So people cannot tell me you're just starting out because if they go to my YouTube channel, they see that I've had this shit going on for like years. I didn't just come out saying like, I'm, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. Well, show me the, the best way to show someone is go to YouTube. You can't, you cannot cheat the system, the videos for like, you know, three years. And so I'm telling you this channel, I know it's not as big as Thomas because Thomas is a top G. Okay. But, but with my small freaking audience in solar guys, this gets me a minimum of three to five meetings a day, three to five meetings a day, a minimum by bare minimum from this channel alone. I'm providing value. Number one, number two, people see that I, I am who I am. Number three, they can see that I'm an, a true expert in my field, which, which does wonders. And people are very, very warm when they come to, um, when they come to talk to us. All right. Next thing is, yeah, you already, you already kind of seen the website. Create an ebook. It's freaking stupid easy to create an ebook. Okay. There's like tools, like AI tools that can do that for you now for like in, in like three clicks. You don't even have to bust your ass to, to be able to do this like I did, you know, when I was coming up with that stuff. But people download it. Like people actually download books like that. And I'm gonna show you also what I did was I created this. So I wanted to teach my clients that if Steve wants to come in and Steve wants to advertise across three zip codes, that's not going to fucking work because I'm not a scam artist. Like I want to make sure that I provide value to Steve. Okay. And so I created a course that teaches people how to sell over the phone. That's not for you guys. I'm just telling you what I've done for my audience. Okay. That's not for you to buy or whatever. I'm just telling you what I've done for my audience. I wanted to, and a lot of my clients ended up buying this as an upsell because they wanted to get from the door knocking. Solar is a very door knocking based industry and like face to face. And after COVID, of course, COVID accelerated things a lot to doing over the phone and Zoom calls, which is what this course is based on. It's basically, again, shows that I'm not, I know what I'm talking about and it teaches people how to basically do this from the comfort of their home, okay? And it works It works wonders because now we only work with people who work, who sell over the phone. We don't, we do not work with people who are gonna come in and are gonna give us three zip codes because I turn them down. I do not want any unhappy clients. I already know what's gonna happen. If you come in with three zip codes and you're willing to only sell in these three zip codes, the likelihood of me failing is too big and the risk for me is too big for me to take. So you're just going to waste my time. And I don't want that to happen. And they appreciate that. So I just tell them to buy the course, right? Mm. Now, the next thing I have is this, uh, which is we it's teaching my clients. And as it turned out, a lot of, a lot of people in the agency space are also freaking buying this. I didn't know, but um, basically this shows my audience how to deliver kick-ass results the way we do it. We spend over 30 mil in solar ads and, and it basically teaches people how to gen, how to fish. Okay. How to generate solar leads. Okay. So, and maybe we could put like a link in the description or whatever, but, but pretty much, pretty it's much that, the, the that combination is of everything, um, everything you learned from basically running an agency and making it into a program. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, everything, dude. Like, it's just, like, I, I wanted to, I wanted to walk away not walk away, but I wanted to literally like teach people how to fish. You know, I wanted to teach people how to fish. And as it turned out, if you do guys, if you do end up after you built your agency, if you do end up creating a course, guess what? And you show people how to do that. I used to think in my mind, people are going to steal this and then they're going to steal my bread. I'm like, bro, like what universe do you live in? There's more, there's a lot for everyone. Okay. 
So what's going to happen is, especially your, especially my audience, which is the, like the solo professionals, they, they don't realize this is a full-time job. They don't, they don't know. They don't know the running ads, optimizing them, creating videos, editing videos, doing everything to make sure that their success, their campaign is successful could end up being a full-time job. But once they get the course and they realize Yo, actually, um, I don't want to do this anymore, man. Maybe I can hire Ivan to do this for me, right? Or his team, right? Mm. And so that's how it ends up working. So I don't know. I, I hope I wasn't all over the place. I was trying to give you as much value as I possibly could in the shortest time frame possible. But um, no, yeah, was do you have any questions for me, bro? Um, I guess what was what's your cost per, when you run the ads, what's your cost per appointment or cost per lead? Because I mean, it's, uh, when it's you, a really good ad and it's a really good landing page. So I'm guessing. Probably yeah. So my, my, my lead cost is anywhere between, I would say 20 and $40 and one out of one out of three ends up being an appointment. Okay. Yeah. So my appointment, my appointment, my appointment cost is around, I would say 80 to $120. Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes less, but I would say I want I want to speak averages. So it's about eighty to one hundred one hundred and twenty dollars. And our cost per acquisition on a good on a good month is under eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's uh, that's how that's how we we scaled, and um, that's how you um, and 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 that's how basically any anyone could. Now, if you if you decide to deploy different methods like cold calling, emailing, everything else, more power to you. We just wanted to zero in on what works, and um, and it just and it just does, you know. Mm -hmm. I've also one thing I haven't tried for the agency is creating like a webinar, and have people like literally become clients off of off of the webinar, you know. Yeah. Um, and then I I feel like that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Um, because it's, if you structure your offer in a, in a, like, for example, if you, if everyone's read, you know, the hundred million dollar offers by Alex Homozy, right. That's like the Bible for us. Yeah. So um, if anyone's read that, if you know how to structure an offer properly, like you're good. Yeah. Like you're, you should be good. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Um, And so what would you recommend right now for people that don't have uh, and like no testimonials? What would you recommend? You said first, and I really agree with this, like learn about your client, like actually talk to them. And I also recommend like, yeah. don't even just do cold calls, like actually walk into a business and like look at them in the eyes and realize that, you know, when you're going to try and sell them something, like you actually don't know anything about them, about what they're selling. So that's really like valuable. Um, yeah, for yeah sure. do you have anything to add on that? Yeah, so for... The testimonials, like I said, um, you you need to. That's what I did at the beginning. I don't feel ashamed because I've never scammed anyone, in a way that I never like. I I would rather the client be. I would rather get the shit out of the deal, and and not get paid, than than obviously you know, uh, put put my client at a loss. Yeah. And so I feel perfectly fine. If I take what if I get one of my friends to record of, and tell him what to say in the video, just because I can get people to respond to my ads or my landing pages or whatever, okay, I, I feel perfectly fine because I know that that if that client's gonna co come in, I'm gonna cherish him like he's a he's a million bucks, right? And to me, that's the that's the difference because I see the people listen. What if you see a business that has all the testimonials in the world? You end up buying from them. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a course. It could be, it could be a, whatever. It could be an an, an agency uh, service, and then bouncing and not delivering on their promises that they've made to you. Who's a scammer now? The guy who made their friend do a testimonial for them because they don't have any and they're starting out, but they're willing to cherish every single client like a million dollars, or the guy that has all the testimonials in the world. Couldn't give a single solitary fuck about their clients. Who's a scammer? Yeah. Right. 
So that's how I see it. So guys that are just starting out, do not worry. Do not worry. You're going to get your, you're going to get your real testimonials. Okay. But if you don't have any testimonials, all right, go ahead and do what, what we just talked about. Okay. Well, I think, uh, I think that wraps it up, man. Thanks for coming on, bro. Really appreciate it. You delivered, honestly, some bombs, bro. Um, and yeah, where, where can people like talk to you? I guess your Instagram and I'm going to, I'm going to link it below. Yeah, they could, they could read, they can reach me on Instagram. I, I try to help people as yeah. much as, uh, as much as I can, you know, and you know, some people just ask me, don't ask me like super long form questions and stuff like that. Cause I don't have, honestly, like I'm running two, three businesses right now and super slum and, and um, I try to do it in, like literally when I'm, when I'm in the toilet, like when I'm like, when I'm, you know, doing uh, uh, the do-do, like that's what I'm trying to answer my Instagrams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't try to, I try to make it quick. So anyway, uh, but if you're interested in, um, if you're interested in basically doing, in knowing how to generate leads, or you're thinking about getting into the solar industry, you can also check out the course that I have because I think it's it's going to be of tremendous value for people that are the need to get to the they need to know how to generate results for their clients so they can retain them for a very very long time.